hi friends this is gani today i'm going to explain you how to create a base plate for welded column or peb column okay first create grids views grid views click on grid and right click on mouse and create views along grid lines and create okay and uh, i'm creating grids on at this junction a and phi grid okay so open this elevation on grid file okay i'm going to create column now uh, press control plus f for shortcut for application and component window create member p member i already explained clearly step by step in the previous video you can see that video also how to create p b member close it and click starting bottom of the column to top of the column how much elevation you want to create a column click on second end point and do draw view shift control tab for 3d view and uh, this elevation on grid 5 for this one control tab use control tab shortcut for shift the view okay you can see like this column this is the tapered column okay you can manage the flange width and thickness and web depth of the column and everything double click on it in this component you can manage here the depth here bottom depth of the web and top depth of the web here and in parts you can manage here flange thickness and width and inner flange thickness and width and web thickness also and close it as you record you can enter the values and create the column like this okay for base plate uh, you can manage here uh, just click on it and move control m or right click on mouse move uh, click the middle button of the column or control tab use the, this is better for you mouse middle button and shift to here like this then okay this is column creation then later on uh, for base plate go to the application and component window again and here this component pb base plate select it and close select the column and give the position of the base plate okay this is base plate for welded column or pb column uh, for uh, controlling this width of the base plate and length and thickness and bolt sizes and stiffness and everything double click on base plate this window will be open like this okay in this window you can see here in bolts you can manage bolt dia how much bolt you want as per design requirement you can change here okay for example we take one inch and you can also uh, control uh, how grade bolt grade 325 or 307 depends on as uh, as mentioned in the design requirement we can control here here bolt sizes you can control tolerance and cut length and everything you can control from this window okay after that for bolt distance for example uh, you need bolt here this dialog box for flange inside to bolt distance here to bolt distance how much you want to place the bolt from inside flange to bolt distance for example we will take 3 inch modify it you can see here this move from flange inside to this one 3 inch after that if you want to place any bolt after bolt to inside flange inside bolt then you can control here for example this bolt to this bolt distance you want to place 4 inch 4 inch and enter and modify it here generated 4 is closer to inch 
this in inside flange then enter 4.4.5 inch 4 and a half inch okay like that similarly we can also maintain this bolts also from here control from here inside flange to bolt distance how much 3 inch mod fit from inside flange to this one is 3 inch now from inside this bolt to inside bolt we can maintain here similarly like this 4.5 4 and a half inch this one if you need more bolts from here to here you can manage here also uh, 4 and a half uh, give the space from that value and enter the value how much you want to place uh, extra bolt then modify you can see here to here 2.5 like that you can also enter from here then generate bolt from here to this side give the space and enter 2.5 inch modify it like this but this much bolts are not required if you need you can place or delete it remove those things values modify you can control like that for example in four cases uh, these are four bolts here required only two bolts uh, here two bolts then here two bolts and here four bolts then you can do here delete bolts option will be help help you uh, for example here uh, we will take the count from here 1 2 3 4 or 1 2 3 4 depends on the numbering you can control here for example we will take from here 1 2 3 4 5 for example we count this as a 5 number okay enter the 5 number here and modify it and modify here which one gone this one gone that's why how it taken from here 1 1 2 3 4 5 for example this one we want to remove it then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now give space and enter 8 number you can see this this one remove 8 okay like that you can remove uh, this bolts also for example from we will see from starting here see here 1 2 3 4 5 we want to remove 5 space then 6 7 8 8 space 8 9 space 10 11 12 you want to remove these kind of bolts this one this one this one and this one then enter here value and click on modify then this will be disappear ok we here we controlled only bolt distances and number of bolts and everything then after that go to the part tab you can control this width how much width you want to uh, base plate width and uh, how much you want to enter the thickness here you can enter here for example okay mm. here in this width wise you can maintain here distance between bolts and number of bolts also maximum bolts you can place here only four bolts for example if you enter here uh, distance between the two these two bolts 2 inch then distance between these bolts are uh, 2 plus 2 4 plus 2 6 inches for example here enter 6 inches modify it these bolts are here this distance between two bolts are 2 and 2 and 2 6 total for example these are very closer to each other then we are changing here value 4 inch or 3 inch for example we will take 3 inch 3 plus 3 plus 3 9 inch modify it you can see like that you can control 
distance between bolt here for example you have only two bolts then enter here here and the same value then you will get only two bolts like this okay in our requirement we are taking three and here nine you will see like this here we are, we are controlling distance between the bolts and number of bolts in this tab okay after that in in parts tab we will control this one thickness width width of the uh, base plate and thickness for example here the last bolt distance 9 inch after that here 1 inch 1 and a half inch here 1 and a half inch then uh, 1 and a half 1 and a half 3 inch plus 9 inch 12 inch enter here the width 12 inch and thickness consider thickness as a half inch base plate thickness mod fit here you can see here the width was changed we controlled distance between bolts and width wise but we, we up to now we didn't see that length of the base plate you can control the length of the base plate here inside flange to outside of the base plate how much for example here we controlled in bolts up to here to here 3 inch then here to here we want to place 2 inch then how much from inside to outside 3 plus 2 5 inch you have to enter here 5 inch here also 5 inch then modify yes you can see here here to here now 5 inch you can clearly see the modification how it's happened okay uh, up to now we seen how to control bolt distance between bolts and edge distance width of the width of the base plate and length of the base plate and bolt distance number of bolts how to control we seen up to now now we will see how to control the stiffness for this base plate okay go to the stiffness tab uh, here they are giving the numbering two three like that uh, for example you can see here in picture tab this is two stiffener number two this one three otherwise you can see the name also web stiffener web stiffener is this one is web web stiffener outer flash stiffener these are outer flash stiffeners these and these things okay uh, we will control like that okay for example your stiffener is this one you want to enter how much width and height you can manage from here like that if you want to change the profile of the stiffener you can use these kind of stiffeners for example we see this one take modify yes you see this stiffener has changed now generally we will take triangular or this kind of shapes depends on company requirement okay you can control this if you want to uh, remove this stiffener then uh, from here create s yes. if you select no and modify it then it will be disappear it won't create in the assembly drawing if you want press click on s yes and it will be great just like that this one also you can control from here main stiffness this one main stiffness these are bolt gauge stiffness b if you off these things these will be disappear outer of the flange yes you can see here this one here you are seeing these set of bolt stiffness are this one this one and this here these are not required for our base plate then you can delete from here 
delete bold pitch stiffness for example we consider as a this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that then I enter the value here 1 modify it these things gone this is second 2 this number this number is 3 then enter give the space and 3 modify it this stiffener also gone okay these stiffeners are main stiffeners if you need any inner stiffener like this here also inside here then click on s and modify it it will be generated inside of the flange but at the standard we won't generate here inside of the flange so click on no okay this is main stiffener these outer stiffeners are uh, voltage stiffeners for example you don't want to uh, this outer stiffeners enter no and modify it you can see these are disappear if you if you don't need this one also click on no and modify Done. depends on requirement we will select s or no buttons for highlighting and we will control this height and width at here we can change the profile also depends on requirement for high for see clear view click on space and redraw view if any command is activated you can see here if any command activated cursor symbol will be changed press escape or right click on mouse and interrupt then command will be deactivated this is column base plate connection for welded or PEB column if you have any doubts please comment below if you like this video please like it and share it for more videos please subscribe our channel thank you